how'd you become that guy? You know what? I, I grew up not that guy. Yeah. So a lot of people put a title on me. They want to, uh, they see me now. They see me now as the guy that with his shirt off who can do 4,000, 30 pull-ups in 17 hours, who can run 205 miles in 39 hours, who can do all this crazy shit. But what they don't understand is they don't understand the journey that it took me to get to this point. There was an incident one time when my mom got knocked out on top of the stairs and he drug her down the stairs by her hair. And at six years old, um, I'll never forget this. In my mind, I, I was always afraid. My whole life I was afraid, but I had this fucking voice, this, this conscience that would always be battling me saying, hey, you gotta get up and do something. I didn't wanna do shit. You know, I, I was just afraid, but I would, that, that voice would force me to get up and my dad, you know, I try to beat him up, whatever, at six, and I get my ass kicked. So this went on for several years. And I have a big time learning disability because my dad didn't believe in us going to school. So my dad, it was about the business, the skating rink and the bar. So um, from the age of 19 to the age of 22, I went and did a job called TAC-P, where you control fast movers behind enemy lines. Cool job, but there's no water. I was afraid of the water, so I avoided it. I went from 175 to almost 300, to 297 was my heaviest. And I started finding things that was comfortable. And the more things I found comfortable, the more uncomfortable my mind was. Because that voice I was telling you about, it, it always was there. I was just trying to avoid that conscience. I, I wanted to be left alone from that conscience and it wouldn't leave me alone. And I started working for a job called Ecolab, where he sprayed for cockroaches at 24. And, um, spraying at different steak and shakes, red lobster, whatever, from 11 o'clock at night to seven o'clock in the morning. And what changed, I came home and watched this Discovery Channel show, um, class 224. It'll test your, it'll test your soul. But I was watching the these guys going through Hell Week, blood. class 224. It's the ultimate test of one's physical and mental motivation. And these guys are ringing the bell, quitting, dropping their helmet down, rolling out. A lot of guys just leaving. And it made me reflect on my fears, my insecurities. And I saw real men, what I thought were real men who were staying, who were overcoming adversity, who were overcoming all these different things that I had blamed so many fucking people in my life, my, my dad, the, the, my, my mom for not being there. And so um, I sat there for a while and I was like, man, I gotta fucking, I, I, I got it. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. It's, it's fucking me against me, period. And um, so I had to man up, and I said, the first thing I start doing is facing every fucking fear I have. No matter what the fuck it is, man. And, I, and, and these things would keep me up, and I, I had two options. To either be that 300-pound guy who sprayed for cockroaches and made $1,000 a month, and at 24 years old, knowing when I'm 50 fucking years old, I can reflect on this and think about what guy I never became, or I can totally just suck it up and fail and fail and fail until I succeed. So I started calling recruiters up. I said, I'm gonna go be a fucking Navy SEAL. To get into the class I had to get into, I had to lose 106 pounds in less than three months. So I was like, fuck that, I can't do that. I grabbed my chocolate milkshake and went back to Ecolab. I'm going back to work, man. This is my life. I had to invent a guy that could take any pain, any suffering, any kind of judgment be called nigger, be called whatever the fuck in the world and be able to stand in the fucking room and say, go fuck yourself. I had to build, the, I had to build this callous mind and I built it through suffering. I built it through downright fucking just crushing myself. If, if it was raining outside, we got the fucking water, it was snowing. The first instinct is don't go out there and do shit. My instinct was, we gotta fucking go out there. Anything that was fucking horrible in my life that I would normally say no, that was inhumane to most people, I had to go do it. And I started callous in my mind at this point in my life. And I lost the weight. I lost the weight and I went back to the recruiter. I got into that class and I went through three Navy SEAL Hell Weeks in one year. Only guy to ever be in three Hell Weeks in one year to my knowledge. The first one I didn't make it through, the next two I did. And um, that, I just didn't, I, I didn't stop anymore from there. And I started realizing through this, through this process that the fucking mind is what you created. And I started opening different doors that I didn't think were even there, that I didn't think even existed. And the more doors I opened up, the more I started realizing that my potential is damn near endless. 
and it, and it changed my whole mindset. So I went from David Goggins and I created Goggins. And that journey is a priceless journey that is hard for me to even explain to people because it sounds so quick and easy. That guy's lost this weight and I went through three hell weeks. I went to Ranger School, I went to Delta Force Selection, whatever it is. It was brutal. It's a brutal journey every fucking day. And everyone's like, are you happy? If anybody knows my life story, I'll try to give you a, just a snippet of it. Where I'm at today is in front of Joe Rogan telling you my life. To get through where I became, to get through where I'm at now, there's nothing but pride I have for myself that I can't really, I can't really show people. How would that feel if I'm graduating? Can I get at the graduation thing I was talking about, 224, like, like the video I sat down and watched? This train officer stood up and he said to, to the graduation, um, guys who graduate buds, like 18 of them, he said, we live in a society, a society where mediocrity is, is too often the standard and too something. often These rewarded. There's intense fascination with yeah. men who detest I mediocrity.